Hi, I'm Jason from FlySky, and today I'm going to talk about the aircraft structure function for the FSI-10. There are two very easy ways to get to this function. There's actually three ways, but I've already discussed the other one before. The first one is, if I touch the, the aircraft picture here, it'll jump straight to that function. The second way is if I go in here and I move across my menu until I find air, airplane structure, I can enter in here. And the final way is inside the models function, as I discussed in another video. Now, the wonderful thing about the FSI-10 is that if your airplane has uh, a very specific setup, and in other remotes it might be a little bit more difficult to see what's going on and to see the setup that you've created, the FSI-10 doesn't have this problem because it gives you a lovely diagram showing you exactly what's going on. If I go to modify, I get a simple list. All I need to do is select the structure of my own personal aircraft. So for example, say for example, I use the throttle needle because my airplane is gas powered. And if I have flaps, uh, maybe two flaps and spoilers and yeah, that'll do. Maybe two spoilers. Now it's worth noting that once you get to too many channels, the system will prevent you from adding any more. So the system is now using all 10 channels and you can no longer add any more. So if I go back to save, you can see now that the airplane structure that we had before has changed. And not only does it give us a lovely picture of what's actually going on, it actually tells us what channels are being used for each control surface. If I want to reset the function, all I need to do is hit the reset icon and select yes. Now, one thing specifically, if I want to change from an airplane or glider to a helicopter, I do need to do it from the models function. And which I do here, set model type, and then it'll give me the option to choose helicopter. And then I can choose whatever I... Uh, whatever my helicopter happens to use, variable pitch, gyroscope, whatever, and move back. And now, if I go back to the home screen, it'll give me uh, a, a little readout of what, what I'm doing here. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more tutorials and news, please visit our website.